What's good guys, Justo Farm here for you guys today. Today for you guys, we got an unboxing of, what is it guys, a Sharp 60 inch Aquas 4K Ultra HD Smart TV guys. This TV is incredible guys. Picked it, two of them up from Black Friday because you guys can't beat the deal. Has Netflix, Amazon, Vudu, Pandora, YouTube, Clear Video, all the apps and goodies and stuff. It's a very cool smart TV. And for the, today guys, I'm going to make an unboxing for you guys. So let's unbox one. So I already read that it shows to open it, you guys gotta pull these plastic tabs right here. So squeeze that tab and pull out. So as you guys can see, I just squeeze it and pull out. So let's put them right there. But as you guys can see, it does say 4K Ultra HD Smart 60 inch TV. Has the three HDMI ports, LAN cable, video components, all that for the traditional gaming or whatever, audio, optical, all that good stuff. And it also tells you that it's, where is it? Oh my god, I can't remember. Over indulge in entertainment with built in music, sports, or movie apps. Watch fast motion screens while the TV reduces motion blur or image ghosting. Every source connected to the TV displayed is to the highest resolution possible and optimize your gaming experience with de decreased input latency. So I removed those back plastic things. Let me remove the ones on the other side. Let's turn this thing around. There's already dog hair from Coco. <laughs> Alright guys, just try to be careful with it. Yeah, try to get in the center, yeah. Tells you stop if you need help setting up or operating a TV. Make sure you guys call Sharp USA or Canada, Mexico. Uh, do not press on the screen. I don't even know if I've never pressed on the screen my entire life. So like, if you guys press on the TV screen, that's that's really that's something. Never press on your TV screen, guys. Like if it's an old school one, press on it. Throw your remote out. Do whatever you guys want, but never press on your TV screen. It's most important. That's why everybody complains that there's dead pixels in the corner. It's your fault for wall mounting it because your person helping you probably squeezed it on the corner or somewhere. You know what I mean? So make sure you guys are careful. So let's open this up, guys. Take these phones out off the sides. Ports. Phone on there. Turn this TV around. So as you guys can see, I removed the phone support. This part's a little bit messed up right here. I'm surprised about that. Why it's messed up like that. As you guys can see. Stuff happens in packaging. Stuff happens in packaging, what can you do? Put it in but box. Let's hope that there's no dead pixels on the right side of the TV here. Well, sometimes they're putting it in the box and it doesn't fit properly. Well, yeah. So, let's open this, pull this out, right? Yep. Well, it's just a simple cardboard piece, a little bit of foam there. And now, time to pull this bad boy out. Oh, it looks so nice. Do you know? If you guys don't know, I'm a Sharp fan. I love Sharp TVs. Nothing beats a Sharp TV. If you guys seen Harold and Kumar, Christmas Adventure, whatever that movie was called, that movie when he was like, oh, I got the best present for your father-in-law with that Sharp Aquas 3D TV with four colors. No, no, hasn't the whole 3D thing jumped the shark by now? You don't understand. It makes Avatar look avatarded. It's gonna be amazing. 
nothing beats having that fourth color, guys. That yellow. Like, it's, it's crazy. This one's not the Quattron one with the fourth colors, but it's 4K Ultra HD. Can you guys beat it for Black Friday? Like, I'm most likely going to be using it for, like, security cameras or something. And it's more than enough for 4K security cameras. Like, people have, like, smaller cameras, uh, TVs for that. But right now I'm just trying to figure out how I should open this up. I don't think it's on a stand. Should I give you a hand? Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to have to need your hand, so... Alright guys, so we pulled up the TV and I got my brother to help me slide it out. We just put it on the old sofa we had and just put a blanket down so it doesn't get messed up. And I have the bottom facing up so we can put the front bottom stand on and see how it is. And I thought, why not show you guys how to put it on as well. So, just set one down. Open one of these up. See which way the legs face. It looks uh, universal. Oh, awesome. And then again, in the picture, it does look to me a long way up front. <laughs> There's only one way it's gonna go. Okay. There's only one way it's gonna go actually. It's round. So round over there. Mm -hmm. Long way forward like I was saying. Okay. So you guys are just gonna put your legs in over here like that. Snap in there. Yep. Maybe let's try this side. Let's see right and left. Yeah, it went right in. So put that in there. And then I gotta screw it guys. Okay. Can you open up the screws? Pull one out, you can hold these. Perfect. Get my Phelps on. One of these bad boys in there. Load it with a little bit of Loctite. That's good. Let's put it in just slowly. Not too tight. I'm gonna put another one as well. And then we get one more. Keep in mind guys, they're all the same size. I hate when that happens. <laughs> So two screws per leg. Yep. Here, <laughs> take another one. No worry, I got that. Same thing, reverse thread a little bit and screw in. And then tighten it equally. Alright guys, so I'm going to put the next leg on and then I'm going to flip it back. And I'm going to show you guys how it looks after. Alright guys, as you guys can see, we unpacked it. Put the stands on, it looks beautiful guys. Like I can't even explain. Sharp got some Samsung game going on here, right here with the legs. Because they never really have some cool unique legs like this. It's always like a simple stand or something. But as you guys can see, it's 60 inches guys. Can't go wrong. They had a 55 inch too, but chose to go with a 60 inches. Just imagine this being sectioned off in four and security camera or eight channel on this security camera. You can even run 16, but I'll probably have eight channel on each one or four on each. So let me show you guys the backside and show you guys all the inputs in HDMI and all the component cables. So as you guys can see, we've got the power back here. You guys already know the wall mounting screws and stuff, the sharp logo information. Here's another, um, what is it, the information of what model it is. Let me go to this side over here. We got the HDMI's over here, guys, if you guys can see. Uh, components over here and direct Ethernet 
to internet if you guys need that. It's Wi-Fi already built into, into the smart TV. And I'm not too sure what this is right here. I don't know if that's a reset or something. Or if that's a toggle. Oh, that. Whoa. It says OK and plus and minus. I think that's like the volume or something at the back, guys. That's so cool. It has like a toggle on it. And there's the HDMI's over here. Three HDMI's. One USB. And an optical right there. And that right there. I'm not too sure what that's called. That's the TV. Back in the old school TV plug-in. Or to the, your Bell satellite or whatever you guys have, right? And so as I told you, as a component, that's all that. And I'm not too sure what that is. That's what I was looking right there. That's what I was saying. And <laughs> I don't know if that's something you pull out to do maintenance or something. I'll see what that is later. Um, let me flip it back around and let's show you guys the remote and all that. All right, guys. Let's see what, how the remote looks and everything. Let's put the batteries in there. Let's see everything that came in the Ziploc too, guys. So we got the important safety information and warranty card in here. Make sure you guys register your warranty with Free TV, guys. There you go. There's your Sharp 4K Ultra HD Smart TV. Models and stuff right there of different models that would fall in that category of TVs. Keep in mind, guys, it is an LED TV. Your power for the TV. Here's the remote. I'll put the bag back there. As you guys can see, sharp mod number right there. There's power input. Uh, never really use their, those that much. There's TV, home button, volume channels. One thing's cool is a Netflix button. It's always nice to have, and a YouTube button. It's the first time having a YouTube button on. For me, for my Sharp TVs, and Oprah TV, and I, I'm not too sure what that is right there. I think that is... Maybe Amazon Video? Amazon Video or KLIC, whatever they showed on the box. So, as you guys can see, the smooth piano finish on the sides there. And it's just matte all around, piano finish amongst the sides. The batteries that it's come with is uh, Everdura. It's always cool seeing these uh, different company batteries, man. It's, it's always something third else. Company. But definitely, guys, make sure you guys check out my other videos and unboxings. I have an unboxing of Polk Magnify Soundbar. Make sure you guys check out that too and my other Black Friday pickups. And my next video, I'll set this thing up with the PS4 and see how it performs in 4K and see what 4K really is like. And see if 4K is a myth. We'll find out guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And sooner or later I'm going to have my Justify Farm stickers coming through. Take care.